There was an item on the news the other day that many parents keep paying pocket money to their children, even though those children are in their 20s or their 30s. But we often hear these days stories of failures to launch, children that stay at home with their parents into their 20s or 30s or even 40s. So what about children who are in care, who are in foster homes, that have to leave that care at the age of 18? Who's going to look after them and launch them into adulthood? Who is, where are they going to take their own children back at Christmas for family holidays? Who's going to advise them as they take the first steps into adulthood? What are the life chances those children like without that supporting environment, the supporting institutions that the family can provide? What chance is there of breaking intergenerational poverty when you get children who come from such a disadvantaged background not being given the same advantages in the first steps to life and those children from more privileged backgrounds that can rely on the bank of mum and dad. Now while there are programmes to help children coming from a background of lives in care, unfortunately the evidence base of how to support those children whilst in care and afterwards is very weak. The review done for Campbell of independent living programmes from children uh, coming from a care background found that there are actually no studies at all of sufficient quality to judge whether those programmes work or not. Another review for done for Campbell showed that having children in kinship care, where they're looked after by other members of the family when they're taken from their natural from their birth parents, are effective, but still the quality of the evidence is weak. Another program of fostering uh, treatments also lamented the poor quality of the evidence base. So there's a real problem to be faced here in improving the life chances of children who have been in care once they leave care. But the reality is we simply don't have the evidence to know whether those programmes work or not. So if we're to take it seriously, our commitment to better lives for all, then we have to be serious about testing the quality of the programmes we're using to improve those lives.